you have a choice to just read through i.e. read it as if you're not stopping at that end of verse marker or number or you can stop so in this case if we take this let's presume we're going to read straight through so where that verse number one sign is just pretend it's not even there we're going to read straight through it so this would be al tu mal qariya okay so you would read the dhamma on the ta marbuta okay now there's a separate lesson which will cover whenever you try to stop at a sentence or a stop or pause mark what you read on the actual words so here we just want to see that what the options are not exactly how to read it so again if I carry on through this it would be al mal okay so you would read that first tamabuta with the dhamma so you'd say two and then carry on now if you decided to stop you would effectively and again this will be covered in another lesson you would read that tamabuta as if it's a hasakin so you would have to read that first line as al mal okay so there's a slight difference so reading through a line is different than if you stop on it and that's without any other special pause or stop characters that's just a normal end of line uh, marker okay now we look at the small meme so again we said for this small meme which is like a meme with its tail cut in half you've got must stop otherwise if you continue you will distort the meaning of the verse so this is a very important one so let's look at an example so this is from the second surah surah number two verse number 26 and we have here if I just read it without the stop okay and then we have this little meme so because we've got this small meme here it means you must stop so this actually will be read as mathala then a stop yudillu okay so mathala and again there's a special rule to how you read the fatter tain when you stop and we'll cover that in another lesson main thing there is you have to stop you haven't got a choice there you must stop now just going to bring up on the left hand side here just a note and we covered this when we did the rules of iqalab so this is where the nun sakin sound is being changed into a meme sound and they draw in the meme we've covered all this before however notice that meme has got the normal meme character right, it's got a long tail so you have to be careful not to confuse that with the meme which is being used to indicate a compulsory stop the next one the lamb alif sign must not stop or pause on the word so this is means you must carry on so another example is surah number 2 verse 25 so we have the small lamb alif and this just means you have to read completely through you cannot stop on where we have the qon the qaf with the fatatain you cannot stop there okay so you'd have to read through this so that would be thamara tirriz qan qalu okay so you'd have to read straight through that you cannot go thamara tirriz you cannot do that okay um, the color coding there is we will cover that again in a previous lesson is the ikhfa okay so the hiding of the noon sound then we have the small jim sound sorry the small jim symbol allowed to stop on a word or you can continue there's no preference given to stopping or continuing example of this is surah 110 verse number three so here we have the little jim and if we were to stop we would read this as wastaghfir innahu okay or if you continue 
you'd go wastaghfiruhu innahu you've got the choice you go either way it doesn't matter okay the next one the sign of the sod lamb and the ya looking character allowed to stop but it is better to continue so really you should continue through this so example of this is surah 104 verse 4 so better to continue here Okay, so what we do is we read it as Kalla la yumbadanna. So read straight through. Okay, the next one then is the sign with the qaf, lam, and the ya. Better to stop, but you can continue. So example of this one is surah number 2, verse 13. Okay, and this is better to stop. So again, this would be amanas. Sufaha, and they'll stop there and then they'll read the next bit now the small scene sign so we've got here you must make a pause for a second or so without taking a breath so it's going to be a very short pause not to be confused with the scene placed over or under the sword I'll explain that in a minute so here's the example of the scene so we've got Surah 83 verse 14. Now this has actually got two stop signs and the little scene here is indicating after the word Bal you must take a pause but you can't take a breath. Okay so if we read the first one and we'll read through the Sod Lam Ya sign the first one this would be Kalla Bal Rana Okay so you say Bal Kalla bal rana, and all you've got to make sure is when you say bal, you do not take a breath, just stay there for a second, second and a half, two seconds, and then straight into the next word. Now, what we were talking about um, before is you may see on certain words a little scene written above a sword, okay, and you'll find this in Surah 2. Surah number 2 verse 245 and this is a completely different scene it's put sometimes above a sword and sometimes below a sword and there's a rule in the in certain recitations where you can either read the sword as a scene or actually as a sword so you, you must make sure you don't confuse that that will normally be above the sword the scene we were talking about will be completely above the word itself. Now the next one is these three dots. So may pause at one of the three dot symbols but not both. These always come in pairs. Let me put up an example. So this is Surah 2 verse 2. Okay, so what you see here is you've got two sets because he's always sorry two two sets of three dots i.e. you have them in pairs and they'll sit over two different words and what it's indicating is that you have well effectively you've got three choices you can choose not to stop on any of these or any of these two you can choose to stop on the first but then you cannot stop on the second one or you can stop on the second one but then you cannot stop on the first so let's let's do this so you could read this straight through so this could be read 